don't know why I'm frightened. I know my way around here. The deco clocks, the crazy cocks, the sound here. With so many friendly faces, Jason here beside me. Well, everything's as if we never said goodbye. Yesterday, it seemed the world was about to end, didn't it? Looked as though it wouldn't last out the year. Yesterday, disaster waited around the bend. Well, my friend, Big D, little A double L A S is here. Back in business. And ain't it grand? Let the good times roll. Yesterday things were out of hand. Now they're under control. Bye bye blues, so long adversity. Happiness, hello. Keep the status quo. Permanently so. Back again like a boomerang. Same old stand, same old gang. Back in business with a bang. Let the good times roll. Yesterday it seemed I never would smile again. Didn't matter what was ventured and how. Looked as though the fun was over till who knew when. That was then. This is now. Back in business and ain't it grand. Let the good times roll. Yesterday things were out of hand. Now they're under control. Back to normal, back to usual. Let the fun resume. No more doom and gloom. No more bust, just boom. Back again and then overnight. In demand, well, all right. Business is just dynamite. Same old play with the same old cast. Like the past, but at last. Back in business with a blast. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll.
is where my heart is and I'm home. I know where my heart is. I came home. I found all the faces. I filled all the spaces, but no of the places quite like home. So I gotta move on. I came home. Nothing can improve on what's back home with friends that'll need me and love that'll feed me. All paths seem to lead me home. Home to me is bright lights of pink and gold. A star is on the dressing room. The bar has wine and gin. Home to me as friends keen on celebrating while the band is venerating Gershwin and Berlin. Waiting for the curtain to go up then, waiting for the nerves to settle down then, waiting till at last I'm on the stage, though in the past I've dissed it. Golly, how I've missed it. Oh. Home, a place where sunshine learned to shine. so intimidating, <laughs> quite so exhilarating. Golly, how I've missed it. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it really is a joy to be with you here tonight. Um, um, I, I welcome you to my home. Uh, well, this space is my home tonight for an hour and a bit. Uh, and I'm delighted to be sharing it with all of you. But most of all, I'm delighted to be sharing it with Mr. Jason Carr at the piano. <laughs> Um, I haven't done cabaret for a while, um, two decades. Um, so um, tonight I'd, I'd like to maybe make up for some lost time. Um, I'd like to maybe sing some songs that I sang before. Uh, well, I'd like to discover some new songs, but I'd also like to maybe rediscover songs that I sang before. Uh, on stage or in the theater or recorded, um, like this next song. Now, I heard it quite some time ago, and I thought, ooh, I want to record that song. And I tried to relate it to my husband, Gary, and I said, ooh, and I, I just couldn't. I couldn't quite um, remember it properly to relate it to him. So it sort of fell by the wayside. But um, sometime later, uh, we were on a honeymoon in Vegas, and, um, well, let me rephrase that. Hang on. Um, <laughs> yeah, we did go to Vegas. I, I know, it sounds terrible, doesn't it? Uh, no, every trip we took, we made it a honeymoon. <laughs> so um, this time on that honeymoon in Vegas, we went to see Frank Sinatra. Well, it was absolutely magical, as you can imagine. And the music is playing, and then this intro starts, and I think, oh, it's that song. And I thought, oh, and I punched 
scary in the ribs. So I said, it's that song I've got to record. And I know I bruised his ribs. I know I bruised his ribs. But he loved it. The song, that is, not the bruising, not the ribs. <laughs> so tonight, um, here's that song by Michelle Legrand and the Bergmans. <laughs> to be 
I now see. So I smile and say, I think I'm in love to stay. If love is a chain of love, as nature is a chain of life, with link after link after link, then I've always been in love, I think. No youth ever stole my heart, no suitor ever sought my hand, I've nothing at all to confess, yes, I've always been in love, I guess, I love a cat-shaped cloud, the sound of rain, a face of frost upon a window pane, with so many links in the chain, each inside a bee if love is a chain of love as nature is a chain of life with link after link after link then I'll always be in love I think I love to spend whole mornings in the kitchen they were warm as a kitten's tongue where it always smells cinnamon and clove, though a foot I part of coffees on the stove, and there I love to speak of sleepy summers, they were longer when I was young, and to tell of lazy picnics in the hills, where the leaves were alive, alive with whippoorwills, and I can't hold back my feelings, and keep them safely sealed, love bursts out of me and flies like a bird in a sunflower field. If love is a chain of love, as nature is a chain of life, a chain that will two songs were written by, well, it's, it's a joy for me as an American singer, I have to say, to, um, to um, work with living composers. Lord knows I did a lot of revivals. So um, those two songs were represented by two American composers, probably not well known on, on this side of the pond at all. The first was by Ralph Chickerell, who wrote, I Think I'm in Love. And the second song was A Chain of Love by Clay Bridgerton, written for his musical, The Grass Harp, It's The Chain of Love. And it was, uh, The Grass Harp is based on a, a novel by Truman Capote. Well, uh, it was when I came to these shores that I heard for the first time the music of a, a British composer named Ivor Novello. Well, when I heard that music, it really it blew my socks off, I have to admit, um, because he wrote wonderfully soaring melodies, absolutely perfect for sopranos. Lucky me. <laughs> Waltz of my heart, haunting and gay, calling enthrallingly, waltzing away, ring out your bell for me ivory keys weave out your spells for me orchestra please chorus of wings filling the sky while you're inspiring me time hurries by 
joy fans a fire in me soon as you start sweeping your streams walls of my heart the lark is singing on high the suns are shining in the blue the winter is driven away Spring is returning anew. Who cares what sorrow may bring? What storms may tear us apart? No sadness can kill the wonder and thrill of that waltz in my heart. I'd give the band a fiver if they will play me Ivor. That smart bolts in my heart that make it swing, swing time. Musical guys have crowned a king up to their eyes are drowned in swing time. Pick yourself up, dust yourself on, and then let's swing. Singing on high, the suns are shining in the blue, the winter is driven away, and spring is returning anew. Who cares what sorrow may bring? What storms may tear us apart? No sadness can kill the wonder and thrill. Oh, that waltz, that waltz. It certainly clears the cobwebs out, that one. Uh, um, now, <clears throat> another singer-songwriter who's a very good friend of mine is Amanda McBroom. Um, Amanda wrote The Rose, and among many other American standards. Um, but um, one day in New York, she and I were having um, a girly chat, which is always nice to have, right? Um, and... Uh, at the time, we started discussing the fact that both of us were married to men much older than us. And I said, well, you know, Amanda, I never saw any minuses with that. I felt plus, 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 plus. There were so many beautiful love letters and, and notes. Amanda, I tell you this right now, I have them in every bag that I carry, every bag I own, I think. If I looked in my bag right now, I promise you I would find one. Looked in the bag. Sure enough, found one, pulled it out there. There you go. She read it. She said, may I use this? And I said, use it? She said, yeah. I think I'd like to set it to music. And she did. <laughs> we were born in different times and places. Many years and many miles apart until the day I found you and built my world around you I never knew what love could bring to a waiting heart that was Amanda's setting of the words exactly as Gary wrote them on that piece of paper Music has such a special resonance in relationships, none more so than in mine. These next two songs, every time we heard them, we'd look at one another and smile and say, they're playing our song. You and I will travel far together. We'll 
pursue our little star together. We'll be happy as we are together. We may never get to heaven, but it's heaven at least to try. going on together till the time we have is gone together watch the evening drawing on together growing older growing closer making memories that light the sky Relationships other than marriage, um, a relationship that tend to go on and on and on and on, like this one. Is that how it feels? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's
that's 29 years in counting. You tell me. <laughs> I wasn't counting. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a number anyway, they say. Anyway, 29 years. And in all that time, there is one thing we haven't done together on stage. <laughs> Please. Um, we have not sung a duet together in all this time. And it is on my bucket list. Tonight? It is. <laughs> Hit it, Josephine. I have no idea what this lyric is. I know now. So flabbergasted after all this time. What will tomorrow bring the pundits query? Will it be cheery? Will it be sad? Will it be birds in spring or here a carry? Don't worry, dearie. Don't worry, lad. I'll have our future suit your whim, blue chip preferred. Putting it in a synonym perfects the word. We're, We're in this, this thing, thing together, together, aren't, aren't you glad? glad? Each day from now will be the best day you ever had. You're gonna love tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be with me. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love tomorrow. I'm giving you my personal guarantee. Say toodaloo to sorrow. And fare thee well, ennui. Bye, bye. You're gonna love tomorrow. As long as your tomorrow is spent with me. Today, Today was perfectly perfect, perfect you, you say. say. Well, well, don't, don't go, go away. Cause if you think you like today, today you're, you're gonna, gonna love, love tomorrow. tomorrow. You, you stick, stick around and see. see. And if you like tomorrow, just think of how it's gonna, gonna be. Tomorrow's what you're gonna have a lifetime of with me. I may burn the toast. Oh, go. I may make a rotten host. Do tell me. But no matter what goes wrong, love will see us through to something better comes along. I may vex your folks. Okay, I may interrupt your jokes. You may, but, but if, if I, I come, come on too strong, strong love will see us through to something better, better comes along. along. I may stay out all night and come home on three. Just leave a light on the porch for me. Well, nobody's perfect. I, I may trump me. your ace. Please do. I, I may clutter up, up the place. Me too. But, but the minute, minute we embrace to love so Sweet song, dear, that will sing us through till something better comes along. I may you're gonna jump love your tomorrow. ace. I may clutter up the place. place. Me too. But no matter you're gonna we love go tomorrow. Wrong. Love will see us through till something better comes along. I may vex your folks. Sorrow. Okay, I may interrupt your well jokes. Me. I may, but if I you're come gonna on too strong, love will see us through till something better comes along. I may play. Cards all night and come home at three. Just well, leave a light away. on the porch for me. Well, nobody's perfect. I may trump your ace. Tomorrow. Okay, you may clutter up the place. Me too. But the minute we love in place, to love's the gonna be. Dear, that will see us through to something. Love will keep us true to something. Love will help us hew to something. <laughs> love will we'll have, have to do to something better. Comes along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Off the bucket list. Um, well, in all the 29 plus years, uh, in all the collaborations that we have had and, and, and arrangements that uh, we have worked on, 
This, I think, is, I think it is my favorite by Jason. Starlight are you warmer than winds of June? Are the gentle lips you gave me gayer than laughter? Are you sweeter than music? Are you angel and lover? Sure. 
have known. I'm able to face the future on my own, and though I'll dread the lonely wintry evenings playing solitaire, I'll always grin when April's in. hints of summer and the warmer times to come till all my days are done I'll feel a tiny sting wishing we'd had just one more spring That song was written by a dear friend um, and my director, Mr. Barry Kleinbord. It was written for his musical, 13 Things About Ed Carpellotti. And um, it is the first time you've heard it on this side of the pond. So, European premiere. <laughs> well, um, many years ago, I uh, had my first very first professional summer stock job. And uh, it was in a musical written by Jerry Herman, and it happened to be his very first Broadway hit on Broadway. Well, this summer stock tour starred Molly Picon, who was in the original Broadway. Molly was 78, and she still did cartwheels on stage. <laughs> She was an absolutely amazing woman. I cannot begin to tell you. She was phenomenal. Well, it was a joy to sing that music every night, and the role that I played was Ruth. Now, Ruth was in her early 50s. Think about it. <laughs> every night, I had to put white shoe polish in my hair because <clears throat> I was all of 22 at the time. It was a bit of a stretch. But anyway, it, as I say, it was a joy to sing that score every night. And uh, since that time, uh, I went on to sing many of Jerry's songs uh, in concert and in theater. And I used him, I had him as a guest on one of my BBC series. Now, really a phenomenal thing is the fact that Jerry Herman, at the age of 87, is now having this incredible year on Broadway with the phenomenal success of Hello, Dolly! with Bette Midler. And I truly, truly, truly believe that he is one of America's greatest songwriters. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, some of you in the room may or may not know that I did do Hello, Dolly! here at the Prince of Wales Theatre. I did not play Dolly. I played Mrs. Malloy. And my favorite leading lady was Danny LaRue. <laughs> he was wonderful, a joy to know and to work with, an absolutely divine man. But um, in the ensuing years, it, yeah, um, playing that role um, was, was great, great fun. But I look here on stage and I'm not the only one who has a connection to Jerry Herman up here. Monsieur Carr was Tony nominated for musical orchestrations for the latest La Cage au Fall on Broadway. <laughs> I 
I can't tell you what a thrill it was for me to walk down 48th Street and look on one side of the street, La Cage au Fall, musical orchestrations, Jason Carr. On the other side of the street, a little night music, musical orchestrations, Jason Carr. <laughs> Working both sides of the street, 48th Street. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's about time you got to that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, well, from Jerry's first hit to his latest, this is for Jerry. Let's not waste a moment. Let's not lose a day. There's a short forever, not too far away. We don't have to hear the clock remind us that there's more than half of life behind us. So let's not waste a moment. Oh, look, another moment's gone. Weeks for the parade passes by. Got to get in step while there's still time left before the parade passes by, before it all goes on and only I'm left. Life without life has no reason of rhyme left with the rest of them the best of them I want to hold my head up high for I need a goal again I need to drive again I want to feel my heart coming alive again For the parade passes by, I'm gonna go and taste Saturday's high life. Before the parade passes by, I've gotta get some life back into my life. I'm ready to move out in front. I've had enough of just passing by life with the rest of them and the best of them. I'm gonna hold my head up high for I've got a goal again. I've got to drive again. I'm gonna feel my heart coming alive again. <laughs> Listen, hear that brass harmony growing. My old spirit is showing all of those lights over there. They seem to be telling me where I'm going. When the whistles blow and the cymbals crash and the sparklers light the sky, I'm going to raise the roof. I'm going to carry on. Give me an old trombone. Give me an old baton before the parade.
I want to be no one but me. I am in love with a lover who likes me the way I am. I have my faults. He likes my faults. I'm not very bright. He's not very bright. <laughs> he thinks I'm grand. That's grand for me. He may be wrong, but if we get along, what do we care, say we? When he holds me close, close as we can be, I tell the lad that I'm grateful and I'm glad that I'm nobody else but me. Dance break. Nobody else but me. That was the last song written by Jerome Kern. He wrote it in 1946 for the revival of Showboat. That word revival. Well, it was the renowned revival of Showboat at the Adelphi Theater that brought me to these shores. And it was quite an incredible production. We had the longest run of the show at that time, um, 910 performances. Um, I did 894, I had two weeks holiday. Uh, it starred Dame Cleo Lane as Julie, who is 90 this year, um, absolutely amazing woman. I, to this day, she's remained a firm and, and loyal friend and I learned so much from her. Well, in that production, I had um, 11 costume changes by the wonderful designer Tim Goodchild and five wig changes, and I think, well, a lot of makeup changes through the show to age to 55. Now, that got easier as the run went on, I can tell you. Uh, <laughs> yes, I remember the first dress rehearsal, and... Um, uh, I came tearing out of the dressing room and on the stage right, and I stopped. Because there, on stage, in this pool of light, was Cleo singing. Oh, it was magical. I stopped and listened. I watched. Then I heard this applause. And I thought, oh my God, I should be on the other side of the stage, stage left, making an entrance. Well, I ran like hell and thinking all the time, I can never watch that performance on stage again and keep in character. And I didn't see that performance on stage again. But tonight, I look around the room and I don't see Cleo. So I get to sing that song. <clears throat> I used to dream that I would discover the perfect lover someday. I knew I'd recognize him if ever he came round my way. I always used to fancy then he'd be one of the godlike kind of men with a giant brain, a 
and a noble head like the heroes bold in the books I've read but along came Bill who's not the type at all you'd meet him on a street and never notice him his form and face his manly grace are not the kind that you would find in a statue and I can't explain it's surely not his brain that makes me thrill Because he's wonderful, because he's just old Bill. He can't play golf or tennis or polo or sing a solo or roll. He isn't half as handsome as dozens of men that I know. He isn't tall and straight and slim, and he dresses far worse than Ted or Jim. And I can't explain why he should be just the one, one man in this world for me. Just be.
stranger unknown. Luck was never around me, then it suddenly found me. All at once I was given a love of my own. You love here in my arms where you belong, and here you will stay. I'll not let you away. I want day after day. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But um, I have some thank yous to say, first of all, to Henny and her wonderful staff who have been so, so sensitive to what we are doing up here. I thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do have another drink after the show. Um, and also to Charlie on Lights and Sound. Thank you, Charlie. Um, there is someone who's in the back of the room, um, someone maybe near him, he's a gentleman that keeps tweaking his mustache like that. Um, he is my dear friend. Um, it's from his fertile mind that the seeds are planted for any show that I do. And I hope tonight that the seeds have been sown and they have flowered for you, my dear director, Mr. Barry Kleinborg. <laughs> and, um, well, I saved the best to last, didn't I? Uh, who else is there? Let me think. Um, well, 29 years is not long enough. I'm not finished with you yet. He is, without doubt, I, I need say no more than he is my musical heartbeat, Mr. Jason Carr. <laughs> So many things uh, I have to say to you, maybe left unsaid over the past two decades. Um, there was a song by Ivor Novella that I used for a signature tune for one of my BBC series. And I think over the years I've found that maybe songwriters do it much better. <laughs> When first we met, I heard a voice within, the scene is set, and here's your heroine. I raised my eyes, my breath was taken by that sweet surprise, your heart was mine, by law divine. My 
my songs, all that I do. No moon, no morning star can shine. No happiness is mine without you near me. When years have passed into the shade, you'll hear my songs, my serenade. Oh, it feels so good to be back in the neighborhood. <laughs> I, I really thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here tonight to share in this journey home. Um, I wouldn't want to share it with anyone else because you've come here my home tonight. Um, I will leave you with a song by Jerome Kern and the female lyricist Ann Caldwell. The song is almost a century old, but I think the words and the thoughts still ring so true today. Men are called deceivers ever and women flirt at night from one true love that lasts forever is sadly out of fashion moonlit madness under a pale 
Good night. God bless. If love is a chain of love, as nature is a chain of life, with link after link after link, then I've always been in love, I think. No youth ever stole my heart, no suitor ever sought my hand, I've nothing at all. been in love, I guess. I love a cat-shaped cloud, the sound of rain, a face of